Welcome to How To Quickly, the series where I show you how to do stuff with your technology really fast. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to downgrade your iPad 2 or any device I have um, on screen right now to iOS 8.4.1. Let's get started. If you're trying to figure out if your device is compatible, simply navigate to IPSW.me, select your type of device, scroll down and find your specific model. So in my case, this is an iPad 2 Comma 4 from mid 2012. Hit OTA and scroll down and see if iOS 8.4.1 is an option. If it is, you can downgrade. Let's get started. Do is jailbreak your device. If you're using iOS 9 on an A5 device or A6 device, you're going to use Phoenix. If you are using an iPhone 5 on or i or iPad 4 on iOS 10, you're going to use Helix. Um, the next thing, so download the appropriate jailbreak tool for your device. Um, the process of installing it is going to be the same for both. So I'm going to download the Phoenix jailbreak tool right here. I already have it, so I'm not going to actually download it. But Then you're going to need to download this app called Sideloadly, which is a s iOS sideloading application that, take, that basically loads apps onto your devices. So first of all, so once you have Sideloadly installed, click on Sideloadly. Wait for it to load up. Now if you now you're going to need to put your Apple ID email in. It can be either it can be any of your Apple ID emails, it doesn't matter. Um and you are also going to have to plug in your iOS device. So I'm going to plug in my iPad. And then if your device isn't already trusted, hit trust on your iOS device. And then under iDevice, click the device you're using. Now you're going to take that file that you just downloaded and drag it in. Now make sure you have the right device, right Apple ID, click start. So the first thing you're going to have to do once you get done installing Phoenix is you're going to hit prepare for jailbreak. Accept, proceed with jailbreak, hit begin installation, use provided offsets. Once your device finishes respringing, you are going to click on Cydia. You're going to hit reload. If nothing pops up, you're going to click on search. Now if we search files, uh, you're going to see Files of File Manager, hit Modify, hit Install. Hit Confirm. Let Files of run its install. Click on Files of. Now you're going to go System, Library, Core Services. Now you're going to scroll down to you see system version. Hit the simply tap on it. Click the little arrow. And then click on product version. You're going to change this from 9.3.5 to 6.1.3. And then you're going to change the product build version from 13G36 to 10B329. Did that wrong? 10B329. Now you're going to go back, hit save. Now you're going to restart your device. Now unlock your device, go to settings, click about, and you're going to see that the version number did change. 
So now you're going to go to software update. Now, now you are going to click download and install. Agree. And then just like a normal iOS update, you're going to let it run and it, and it will downgrade you to iOS 8.4.1. We'll be back when it's ready. Once your device finishes updating, you're going to simply have to go through the setup process like you normally would. And you are going to notice a lot of key differences. So you can see now I'm in iOS. You can see it's got that iOS 8 look. Now you can see that the background's black. So something you're gonna wanna do is hit reset settings, hit reset, let it run. Okay, once settings finishes resetting, you're going to see your new iOS 8 equipped iPad 2. Now, this should run faster for you. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Bye!